Are you looking forward to book a trip to Ghana? Are you confused as to how and where to start to actualize this dream? Whether you are a first time visitor or you are returning home for more, here are 18 things you may want to keep in mind before planning your trip to Ghana. Travelers have plenty to look forward to on their trip to culturally rich Ghana. Ghana's home-hearted citizens make the country one of the friendliest spots in West Africa and with its compelling history, vibrant clothing prints and flavorful dishes, tourists keep coming back for more. Life in Ghana generally moves at a slow, relaxed pace, but it can be chaotic and fast in different settings. Embrace the cultural differences, mass traffic and intense bargaining and you may fall in love with the place. Expect a lot of noise, vivid colors, and crowds on the streets of urban areas of Ghana. Whether you are a first-time visitor or returning once again, here are what you need to know to prepare your trip to Ghana. First, gather the necessary document for entry. All visitors to Ghana must have a valid visa and they range in cost depending on whether you apply for a single entry or multiple entry visa. Your visa for Ghana can take nearly three weeks to arrive unless you shell out extra for an expedited service. A yellow fever vaccine is also required for entry into Ghana. Check with your local health department or medical clinics to get vaccinated. Malaria pills are also strongly recommended for visitors and can be prescribed by your doctor. If for a reason you can't get your hands on them before coming, pharmacies in Ghana have plenty in stock and they tend to be a lot cheaper. Carry a copy of your passport if you plan to visit different cities outside of Accra. Be sure to print a copy of your passport to keep in your bag as you travel around the country. Police stops are common and officers are known to ask for passport information. Forget you have a left hand in Ghana. Actions like eating, waving and handing an item to someone are to be done with your right hand and your right hand only. Sorry left handers. From an early age, many Ghanaians are taught that their left hand is to be used for cleaning themselves in the bathroom. Therefore. Your left hand is considered filthy and it should not be used for eating and other activities. Using your left hand for gestures and main tasks is considered highly disrespectful. Food should be eaten with your right hand in Ghana. Eating with your right hands in Ghana is a cultural practice. Soup based meals are paired with a starch staple food like fufu and bangkun and is eaten with your hands. Remember the right hand rule. Be observant of how those around you are eating. Embrace the culture and dig in. Keep your thumbs down. While the thumbs up gestures in many places signifies approval, in Ghana it shows disrespect. Always greet others. Greeting in Ghana are a big deal and is considered rude not to greet others. When you enter a room, you should say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. When you meet a group of adults and greet them with a handshake, start with the person on the father's right. Respect your elders. Respect for elders is immense in Ghana. You should not greet elders with your hat on your head. If you are wearing a hat, Take it off completely or lift it halfway while extending your greeting. Give up your seat on a bus for those older than you. Crossing your legs and having your hands in your pockets in the presence of elders are gestures that are frowned upon. Be mindful of clothing cultures from city to city. Ghanaian's clothing cultures tend to lean more towards the conservative side. Accra is more relaxed and you are likely to see more shorts and crop tops. However, people elsewhere tend to cover up, so bring clothing that covers your chest and shoulders and reaches or go past your knees. 
take your sunscreen lotion and other skincare essentials. Learn common phrases in three and other languages. Ghana is home to many different languages and ethnic groups. Chi, Ewe, Ga, and Krobo are all few of many languages spoken depending on the region. English language is widely spoken, but it's important to remember that not everyone speaks it, especially once you are out of Accra and into the rural part of Ghana. Learning a few phrases in the local language is always appreciated and embraced by the Kenyans. Watch your belongings. Pickpocketing can be prevalent in crowded areas like Osu, Madina, and Makola markets. Always keep your bag in front of you and away from the roadside to avoid snatching incidents. Don't carry a large amount of cash on you. Your phone should always be inside and accounted for. Some motorcyclists in Accra are known to snatch phones out of hands of people as they are passing by, both in cars and when walking. It is wise to never stick your phone out of a car window for pictures and videos. Expect police to stop you. Police stops in Ghana occur frequently, mainly at night, but they can happen throughout the day. Your vehicle can be randomly searched by officers. They may ask for ID and search your bag. These searches usually last for 5 minutes and it is best to comply. Bribery is common in Ghana and you may be asked to dash officers which means to tip. You can choose to give it or not as it often only 10 to 20 cities. But it may make a difference between a 5 minute stop and a 40 minute one. Police encounters in Ghana are generally nothing to worry about. Officers may have a tough guy attitude but as you talk to them more, the guards calm down and they are usually friendly. Be wary of swift romantic encounters. It's easy to meet new people in Ghana and conversations are always flowing. People are open to new connections and tend to get close quickly at times. But be careful of fast moving romantic approaches and those who immediately ask for favors and money. Scams are common in Ghana and can occur in romantic encounters. Credit and debit cards are not widely accepted in Ghana. So whatever you are buying, you will need cash. Be sure to carry cash on you when you are in Ghana. Always have some cash on you or you may find yourself stuck. Not every establishment accepts card payments and if they do, the PO systems are often down. However, ATMs are everywhere in Ghana. So getting cash is easy. You can bring both debit and credit cards. But be prepared that not everywhere in Ghana will accept them. Forex Bureau exchange shops will change your cash to Ghanaian cities. Large denomination bills will get you higher exchange rates. Avoid drinking the water. Drinking tap water in Ghana is not a good idea because there's no guarantee that the water has gone through proper measures to ensure it is safe. You can boil your water or use a water filter before you drink it. Expect weak internet connections in most areas. However, even if internet speeds are in the best way you are staying, you can find reliable spots such as Vida E Cafe and Basecamp Initiative. Use cash for Uber and Bolt. Download Uber and Bolt before you arrive. While paying by card is an option on both apps, don't plan on using it. Many drivers prefer cash and will cancel your ride if they find out that you are paying using your card. Or it could be an issue once you arrive at your destination. You can always ask the driver to stop at any ATM before the final drop-off point. Get a local phone number. Ghana is a place where verbal conversations are preferred over testing and online communication. You can get a local SIM card at Vodafone a phone carrier at ANC Mall in Accra so that you have a Ghanaian number. Drivers often call their passengers to find out exactly where they are. Never underestimate Accra traffic. Accra traffic is nothing to be played with. You may see an attraction that you may want to check out that is only 15 minutes away from your accommodations but you might take an hour and a half simply because of the volume of traffic. It is best not to set reservations for a place if you don't have to. While traffic and delays can be extremely frustrating, you will have to learn to go with the flow. 
If you find this information to be useful, please like, comment and share.